Wreck-It Benkiza are a consumer goods company in the household, healthcare and personal care arena. My job is um, quite varied and it, it tends to go quite cyclically with the year um, because of the fact that um, different things happen at, at different points throughout the year. At the moment we're busy planning budgets so a lot of that involves looking at different spreadsheets. Um, we've got a large budget for, for research and development globally um, so we have to work quite closely with the finance teams to ensure that it's allocated appropriately um, and that we can track it for the, for the coming years. Um, we have to give presentations to senior management to um, ensure that they're aligned with what we want to do with the money and, uh, and make sure that we have sufficient funds to do what we want to do for, for the, the coming years. Um, so th it's quite varied really, there's, there's work with Excel, um, there's work with um, PowerPoint pulling together presentations and then a lot of meetings with people and discussions. I started off working on Airwick for a year um, in what we call the category which is where you take a project from kind of the concept stage through to the launch. Um, after that I moved to what we call the New Technologies Group which is more of a blue sky um, type arena and then after that I moved to Germany for six months to uh, work there in the Autodish team um, and that was in the Scientific Services Group which is more of a kind of research and development liaison with the factory teams. Uh, after that I moved um, to the Veep team for a year on, on Wax's development, um, taking some, some products there through from the kind of concept stages towards launch. And then after that I moved into my current role which is Finance and Planning Manager for R&D. To work at, at Reckitt Benkiza on the um, Graduate Scheme for Research and Development, you only need to have a technical background. So we've got people who are zoologists, we've got people who are biochemists that have come in um, on that route. Um, so it's, it's not essential that you necessarily have a chemistry background, um, but some, some technical knowledge for, for research and development is important. The key challenges are um, probably similar to, to a lot of organisations. Communication is a key challenge and, and ensuring that you're commu communicating with the right people at the right time. Um, ensuring that you're on top of your timelines as well and um, that things don't drop behind because we've got products that we need to launch to specific deadlines. We communicate new product developments to the, the trade so for example that could be supermarkets such as Tesco or, or Asda um, and they expect our products to arrive with them at a certain time so we need to make sure that, that we've planned in accurately um, all the kind of milestones, all the kind of problems that we're expected to hit, what risks there are, and make sure that people are aware of those and those are communicated um, sufficiently. What do I do on a daily basis? I tend to talk to the category group directors about their budget. I will review the spending of the previous month to make sure that, that we're on track. I will forecast out for the end of the year to see whether we're on track for our budgets for the end of the year. I'll talk to my boss about where we are with, with that um, so that he's aware of it and if we require any additional funding he, he can make the case for it. I will um, pull a presentation together so that we can communicate it to the um, wider organisation at the relevant time. The thing I really enjoy about this role because I am now more removed from the, the products going to market and I'm not, I'm not working in the lab anymore is I really like the fact that I get an overview of all the, the products that are being developed within the organisation. So before you'd work in your own category, you'd know what they were doing, you'd know what products you were working on, but you might not know what the team in the States were doing, you might not know what the team in, in Germany were doing. So from this point of view, you, you do kind of get that, that whole bigger picture view, which I really like. 
I also really like getting to work quite closely with some of the other functions such as the marketing teams and the, the supply manufacturing guys. Um, again, um, that's something that, that I was doing before um, when I was working more on the product development side of things. But you're, you're uh, communicating with people on a higher level here. So whereas before I'd be talking to kind of manager level, here I might be talking to director or senior director people. And, um, and just meeting the different people within the organisation and understanding their viewpoints I've, I've found really, really fascinating. You don't have to kind of say, stay down the science route if that's um, no longer what interests you. I think that the skills you gain from it uh, can be very useful in a huge number of areas. Um, also, the opportunity to travel to different places um, is not something that you necessarily think of when you think of science, but a huge number of organisations have opportunities internationally. So there's a vast array of different areas that, that you can get become a part of and I think that the skills you do learn in doing a science degree can be useful to you for the rest of your life.